Yo guys, what's going on here? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you everything you need to know about the Xbox Insider program. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get straight into this. So first of all, I do want to talk about what is the Xbox Insider program. Basically, it is a program that you guys can enter right now through your Xbox for free and you can get updates, your console updates, you can get that early as well as the chance to test some new games. I know Microsoft Flight Simulator was on there right before it came out in July of last year. You can test out new Minecraft updates, stuff like that. So pretty much here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into how to first enter the program. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Microsoft store right here. As you can see, all you gotta do is press your Xbox button and then go to the store. And then you are gonna go to the search tab right here and you are going to look up Xbox Insider. Now it is going to be an app that you're going to download straight to your console. So we're gonna to go to Insider. And as you can see right here, we do have the Xbox Insider Hub. This is what it looks like right here. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna press on it. And then as you can see, I already have the app installed, but you can just go and you, you can install it right there. Only takes about a few seconds. And then once you are fully installed, go ahead and launch the app. It's gonna look like this. And basically, you're gonna to need to sign up for the program. I currently cannot uh, go and just go through the steps of how to sign up and whatnot right when you first enter the app. But once you're signed up for the Insider Hub, you're going to get a screen like this. You're gonna have your gamer tag at the top right along with this tab on the left, which is gonna be announcements, previews, activities, profile, reporting problems in the community. So basically what you're gonna do here, you're gonna see this program. Now you see that I am in the alpha skip ahead tier. So basically I'm in the highest tier that you can get in. I got really lucky, but basically you need to be in the program for a little while. And you also need to get a little bit lucky as well to get an invite. But basically you're gonna be starting out in I believe Omega, that's the beginning tier. But basically right here, this is gonna have your announcements and you're gonna see right here there are the alpha skip ahead release notes so basically every time an update is released you're going to be getting this and then you can preview the new features or the bugs that are fixed usually they're about minor fixes but sometimes like an alpha skip ahead for example this month we did get like something with quick resume which was a new feature we got a few new features and basically the updates will go live if there is a new one they will go live that day at 5 p.m eastern standard time so keep on the lookout for that right there you could test out new features earlier than everybody else Else. So basically right here, you're going to go to your previews. This is the very next thing. So you're going to see here that you can go and preview the following things. So you have the Minecraft beta program. So basically you can install a special Minecraft application and then you can test out new updates to the game that will be coming out. You can test it out earlier than everybody else. You also have the Xbox Accessibility Insider League, and then you have Apple TV. So basically you can preview a new update for that app if you do use it. And then right here, this is one that you need to join right here. This is the Xbox Update Preview. This will give you the ability to download the updates on your console and whatnot. And then also you have a free Xbox Insider to you if you are level two or above. Now, next up here is gonna be the activities tab. So basically this is gonna be the quests that you can complete. They're usually just simple quizzes, takes about a minute or so. And then you can get XP, which will be able to build your level. Now, there is a weekly pulse it's called that is released every single week so basically you can go and complete that and get five xp i'm currently on i think a 26 or a 27 week streak as of right now but also some activities will get released such as like staff picks right here which you share your feedback on staff picks in the xbox store and then also report a problem as well this is all just to help xbox run smoother and then you have your profile right here so as you can see i'm currently level nine right now and i've been in the program for one year and two months and as you can see my Pulse surveys currently I have a 29 week active streak and also in the bottom in the bottom right there you're going to see the amount of quests I've completed the amount of surveys I've completed and the amount of reports that I filed now the next tab here is going to be reporting problems so basically you know you need to download another application for this the Xbox report a problem app which is uh, you can look it up on the Microsoft Store. But basically what you can do is you can go and hold the Xbox button in on the top of your controller as it says, and then there should be an option to report a problem right next to cancel on the bottom of the screen. You're gonna click that and then you can select like what app you're having a problem with and describe it. It all just helps the Xbox run a lot smoother. And then finally right here, we have the community tab. So basically there is a blog that you can check out. There's a thread 
right here on i believe xbox.com there is a subreddit that you guys can join definitely recommend doing that if you do have a reddit account as if you will get information on new updates that are coming out as well as you can possibly find people that are having the same problem as you with the, with a specific app and then you can get help there and then there also is at xbox insider on twitter and then we also have the settings tab right here so as you can see manage devices right here you can take devices out of the program i'm not going to be doing that right there um and then you have export data as well as closing your account so definitely don't want to be doing that but yeah so pretty much i think that is everything you need to know i don't want to click on the re release notes because i don't want to go and i don't want to you know have some information that probably shouldn't be leaked i don't want to have that up but basically every time in these release notes it is going to go over the fixes um the features and the issues so basically it's any fixes or new features that come in the update as well as some issues that are known and they are working on as of right now but I think that's pretty much it. That's all you guys need to know about the Xbox Insider program. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video here. I am going to be trying to do some Xbox content. I actually really, really enjoy doing it. So I am going to be trying to do this content. Sorry, I've been away for almost three months now. Um, I did just got over with school about a week ago. So, you know, really, really hoping to put out some content for you guys. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. The trash must five likes. You guys are awesome. Take care. But most importantly, Stay classy.